Hey guys, I just got back from the dollar store and I have a little pile of Disney activity books that I wanted to share with you guys. This isn't normally something I would pick up for my children's book collection, but I just thought it was really cute, especially for a dollar. I'll start with this Zootopia activity book. It has, um, I'm assuming these are the kind of paints that you add water to, so like a watercolor type paint, I'm not sure, and I'll never know, frankly, because I'm not going to open these and actually use them. I don't know if you guys can see, but here's just some of the pages on the inside. So this is probably the best one that I found, at least in my opinion. And then I have another Zootopia one right here. This one comes with, I believe these are erasers, yeah. And the inside of this one has a lot of color and little activities in there. And here I have Frozen. Frozen is not a Disney film that I particularly like all that much, to be honest, but um, I just wanted to get all the ones they had. This one comes with a little icicle necklace, or a little snowflake, sorry, a little snowflake necklace. So yeah, I guess, you know, if you're into Frozen, which it was a really popular film, um, then this is really cute. Um, that's actually really, really cute. You make your own little door hanger for your room. Uh, to me, this was just very overhyped. Um, I know people liked the concept of it, but uh, again, I just, I didn't see what the big fuss was. Um, clearly, I think most of us are aware that you can form amazing bonds with siblings or parents or friends. It doesn't always have to be you know, a Prince Charming, and I just felt like people blew it way out of proportion for what it was like. No one already knew that or experienced that in life, and it was like some big epiphany. To me, that was just a little weird, to be honest, but yeah. Again, Frozen's not my favorite, but it wasn't bad either. Here I have Finding Dory. I feel like at least a lot of people that I talked to didn't really care for Finding Dory. Um, I'm honestly not sure how well it actually did in the box office, but I thought it was really cute when I saw it, so, yeah. Uh, this has a little tiny chalkboard, a little piece of chalk to write on it. I mean, it is super tiny. I don't know how, uh, actually functional that could be. You could write something really small and it would be kind of hard to do with this huge piece of chalk, but it's still really cute. And this one like Frozen has a lot of colorful stuff in it and like the Zootopia one that's not the one you paint. I mean clearly if you're going to paint you don't want everything colored in so yeah there's that. And then we have a Disney's Pixar. It just has various Pixar stuff. Uh, Finding Dory, Toy Story, Monsters Inc. is in here, Cars is in here, and Wally. -E. There's a little Wally sticker right there. This one's pretty cute. It's pretty basic, you know, it just comes with stickers. This is probably uh, one of the less creative ones. And I, I do love Pixar, but, um, you know, that's not really all that mind-blowing to get some stickers with an activity book. So, again, they put the least amount of thought into the little extra prize thing on the front for that one, I feel like. And then we have Moana. I really enjoyed Moana. So this is very exciting. It has, I'm thinking these are tattoos. Or they could be stickers. What is it? It doesn't, yeah, it says tribal tattoos. So there's 10 of them. They show you three here, but up here it says there's 10. So that's really cool. There's the inside of this one. Just some more activities. So yeah, I don't know how much these origin, oh. They were originally $6.99. Looks like that's how much all of them were. Let's try that weird Zootopia one. This one was a little more, which makes sense to me. This Zootopia painting one is $7.99, and it's um, a lot thicker when compared to the other ones. So it would make sense this one costs a little bit more. So yeah. That's what I picked up at the Dollar Tree today. I went to get uh, little sanitary counter wipes and ended up with this big stack of activity books for my collection. 
And again, uh, they're not retro, so it's not something I would normally pick up, but for a dollar, I thought they were really creative. I can't recall seeing anything like that um, out anywhere, to be honest, as far as an activity book goes. And for a dollar, I couldn't pass it up. So, yeah, that's it for today. I also made a bunch of purchases, well, a bunch. I made four purchases on Wish that I wanna share with you guys, and I already got two things. So um, if you're interested in that, be on the lookout for that video. They are all uh, video game related purchases. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you're having a good day or night whenever you're watching this. And I will talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. What happened? Why is it so bright? Why are you so bright? Boop. <sighs> okay. I just picked up from Dollar Tree. Oh, the light keeps changing. Washing me out. But anyway. This isn't something I would normally pick up because, oh my gosh, this is not something that, oh my gosh, why do you keep doing that? Stop lighting up. Boop. I can't fix it. <sighs> I'm so bright.